Hello, this is Bobby. I'm here to show you how to create an APA style reference page and in-text citation uh, for a website that does not include a human author. Um, like my other videos, I'm going to use this reference page citation APA 7 PowerPoint, which is located in Canvas, to describe how to build the reference page citation. Uh, to build this reference page citation for a website with no author or editor listed, you should use this template. Start by listing the group name or the organization name responsible for the content, list the publication date starting with the year followed by the month and date, uh, next include the title of the page in italics, then include the, include the website name, and then in this class we're going to include the retrieved from date. This is especially important for websites that regularly update their information and allows the reader to know when you access the information. And we do this by writing the word retrieved the day or the month, day, and year we retrieve the information, the word from, and then we include the active URL uh, written in black, bolded, underlined font. Um, here's the link to the website that we're going to use to build this citation. Uh, it's a CDC website uh, that updates uh, weekly the number of reported flu cases within the United States. Uh, so when I go to the web page, um, there's no human author listed or editor. Uh, so I'm going to use the organization or the group uh, responsible for the content. In this case, that's the CDC, or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And so it's important that you write out the full name of the organization on your reference page um, because the reader might not be familiar with um, this, the acronym CDC. Uh, there is a way to use CDC in your writing, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. So I write Centers, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as the author. Next, I need the publication date. Uh, the, this uh, information that I'm going to use was published on May 29th, 2020. Uh, so I write 2020, comma, you write out the full name of the month, May, and then the date, 29. I go back and get the title of the page, weekly U.S. influenza surveillance report, and then I add that to my template. Uh, notice that only the word, or the W in the word weekly is capitalized, and U.S. is capitalized because it's a proper noun. Everything else is in lowercase letters. Next, I need the site name. Um, for this specific source, excuse me, uh, the site name is the CDC, uh, the website name. Uh, this comes from the CDC's website. And so in this case, it's the same as the author. And in cases where the site name is the same as the author's name, uh, you just leave off the site name. So uh, therefore, I have removed the site name from the template. Next, I need to add the retrieve from date. I retrieved this information on the 30th of May, so I write May 30, 2020, and um, now we need to include the URL. So I go back and I copy the URL and add that to my citation, and my citation looks like this. Um, and in fact, um, in the end, it looks like this in black font. Remember that the URL should be active, written in black font, uh, so you might have to change the color from blue to black. And in this case, we're including a retrieve from date to let the reader know where we got the, in or what date we retrieved the information. And so now, how do I use this in my writing? So I've created a couple of examples, start with the Word document, um, and I have uh, two pieces of information that I want to use um, in my writing. Uh, and there might actually be other sentences in between these sentences, uh, but I'm going to use these two pieces of information from this source. Um, so remember, uh, to use a hanging indent uh, on your reference page for your reference page entries. So in Microsoft Word, you highlight the entry and go up to Format, come down to Paragraph, go to the Indentation section and change Special from None to Hanging. Use the default setting and you have your hanging indent. Very similar in Google Docs. In Google Docs, I uh, highlight uh, the reference page. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I highlight the uh, citation, come up to Format, and then come down to Align and Indent, and then down to Indentation Options, and I change that to a hanging indent using the default space. Um, so now I have my citation, these are my two pieces of information, and there's more. There's very likely writing in between these two sentences in real life. Um, and so now, how do I cite this? Um, well, I'm going to copy um, the, the author, the group name, and just like before, we're going to put the author's name in parentheses at the end of the sentence before the period. Um, and we're going to include 
uh, the year of publication. Now, um, if I don't want to write out Centers for Disease Control and Prevention every time I use this source, what I can do is let the reader know that there is a common acronym uh, for this organization. And I do that by writing a bracket and then writing the acronym and then writing the end bracket. Oops, sorry, wrong bracket. So um, I have this, these brackets uh, around, uh, sorry, it's not the C CSC, it's the CDC. Right, so here is the acronym, and I put the acronym in brackets, and this lets the reader know that um, here's the author's name, um, and they can, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is the author's name, and then the reader can go down to the reference page and see that same author right there in the reference page. However, by putting the acronym in brackets, you're telling the reader that, hey, this is uh, an acronym that's commonly used uh, for this author, and I'm going to use this acronym from here on out. And so now I put my period, and so now I have my first citation, um, and so I have this information that says the week with the largest number of reported influenza cases during the 2019-2020 flu season was the first week, of, for, first week of February 2020, and my author is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Now, let's say I have other writing in between, and then I write another sentence that uses information from the same source. In the month of February 2020, there were 2,100, 2,000, I'm sorry, 21,734 cases of influenza reported. Now, for this, now that I've already used the citation up here and given the acronym, now I can just use the acronym. So I can just write CDC, comma, 2020, and now I'm done. Um, of course, you could also do this at the beginning of the sentence, as I have showed in other videos, uh, but I just wanted to highlight that um, the first time you use the citation or the source in your citation, you need to include the full name. Um, and then you can use the acronym in brackets. And then after you put the acronym in brackets, then anytime you use the source, you can use just the acronym. Uh, this is also highlighted um, in this document that I, is included in Canvas um, called Using In-Text Citation. Um, and it, it talks about the same or shows the same example that uh, with, with different information. But the first time you use the source, you include the full name uh, with the acronym in brackets. Then any time you use it after that, you can use, use that source after that. You can use just uh, the acronym. Um, and so I hope this helps. Um, and let me know if you have any questions.